Hey, it's Steve Kyler with Hoops World TV. I've got senior NBA writer Eric Pincus. Now, Eric, you're based in L.A., but you cover all of the Pacific and all the Western Conference. And, you know, there's a team that's, that looks good on paper in the West, and that's the Golden State Warriors. You know, they've made a lot of big moves. They've done some signings. But, you know, it all comes down to the same question for them. Can they stay healthy? You know, Andrew Bogut missed more games than he's played in the last two years. Steph Curry can't stay on the court for more than two weeks. This is a team that is just seems like it's built around guys that are injury prone. Are you buying the Golden State Warriors as playoff contenders, or is it just too much of an if right now to call it? I'm going to because, you know, it's, it's, it's camp. Camp's starting up. The season's starting up. We all be on the mystic in camp, camp, right? <laughs> Everyone comes in thinking they're either the champion or at least an eighth seed. No one thinks we're going to be ninth, right? Well, I have the Warriors eight on paper, and I, I really like the combination because Bogut is a true center, and he plays defense. He blocks shots. He can rebound. Is he a lead? Is he a Dwight Howard? No, but he's a, he's one of the better centers. And then we have the asterisk when healthy. And now David Lee is he's maligned because he hasn't been great in Golden State, but he, if you look at his numbers, he, he's been good. He actually has been a, a solid player. It's not his fault he hasn't played with anyone next to him other than like Andres Biedrins or guys who weren't really up to the task. Steph Curry has been hurt. If he can stay healthy, they had Harrison Barnes, a great prospect. I mean, this guy was, it was taught that he would go number one a few years back, that this was, you know, one of the best prospects at all. And I, I think he's a great fit. They have veterans. Jared Jack is just such a nice get. Great young backup point guard. He can start if they need to. They can play him with Steph Curry. They have options. They have depth. Uh, they just don't have history of health. And that is really it. So I have him at eighth in the West. Do I think they'll finish at eighth? I have them finishing in my mind as tenth. And I just see them getting close. And it's too many missing games. And we go to what you said and what we started with. It's the health issue. Can they stay healthy? And Boy, that's just the luck of the draw at this point. They don't seem like they have that history. All right, Mark Jackson, you know, he was the dare to be great hire. He was the Doc Rivers, former player, really didn't have a lot of coaching experience. You know, there was a bunch of stuff in the off season, some stuff that just didn't have anything to do with basketball. Now there's the cloud of doubt around Mark Jackson. Is this make or break for Mark Jackson? If this team doesn't get it done early, could you see the Golden State Warriors parting ways with Mark Jackson and trying to salvage how much money they've got tied up into this roster? We got to say, are they healthy? You know, is it a team that underperforms or is it a team that is hurt and plays well and are they on the bubble? It's obviously if they tank and they're awful, then the first thing you do, I mean, you, the management is the one that put the team together and it's players you can't get rid of. So yeah, you get rid of your coach. That's the first step. And then the Warriors have done that quite a few times somewhat recently. So they, they've been rotating coaches in and out. Uh, I think that if they're in that 8, 9, 10 mix and they feel like the team is fighting and they're healthy and they're doing their part, even if they're not 8 for a while and even if they finish 9 and 10, I think if it's a good season, if they're at 41 and above, I mean, that's that's a good year. I think Mark deserves more time than that. I mean, he really didn't get a chance last year. He didn't have a roster. He didn't have a healthy roster. So I, I think he has a lot to grow as a coach, but I do think he's a great people person. Uh, I think his players want to play for him and want to win for him, want to play defense for him, and that's a team that never plays defense. Uh, they got some guys who can play a little defense, you know, at least in theory anyway, and if they stay healthy, and I, I, I say Mark deserves some time. I want to see Mark coach with a healthy staff before we judge him. He's Eric Pincus. I'm Steve Kyler. This is Hoops World TV.